brother Kosh Carla coming back at you with another lesson, giving our glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Achat Wadash, uh, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Uh, so I'm coming back with another installment of Let's Look Into It. Well, we're going to look into the founders of AI technology, which is uh, Marvin Minsky, and I have on another tab, Patrick Winston. All right, so these two are the quote-unquote fathers or the founders of artificial intelligence. So we're going to get the definition of artificial intelligence here in the Wikipedia, and this is what is, you know, how it's defined by, you know, Esau. So this is artificial intelligence is an intelligence demonstrated by machines, okay, as opposed to natural intelligence displayed by animals, including humans. AI research has been defined as the field of study of in, uh, intelligent agents, which refers to any system that perceives its environment and takes action that maximizes its chance to achieving its goals. All right, so that is the uh, blunt definition of uh, artificial intelligence via how Esau says it. Now, how I'm going to say what artificial intelligence is more so in the spiritual sense. Okay, and when I mean spiritual sense, this is what I mean. Artificial intelligence is like uh, the Holy Spirit to Esau. Okay, you know how us Israelites, uh, you know, the comforter is that's pretty much our intelligence. Okay, we get our intelligence, we get our info, we get our um, information and things of that nature and how things may play out, logistics and all of that from the spirit which Yahweh Shai left us. And uh, Esau tries to mimic that of what we have in his own form, and it ends up being artificial intelligence. So the quote-unquote, their quote-unquote, I'm saying quote-unquote, and I have to say quote-unquote, so make sure you listen to me say quote-unquote, their Holy Spirit is the artificial intelligence, which is AI. You go look into something called the looking glass. All right, because again, when we clicked on this artificial intelligence, it said what? It uses intelligence demonstrated by a machine. And then also it says it perceives its environment and takes action that maximize its chance of achieving its goals, which is logistics. But it uses a machine for logistics. That's why I say look into the looking glass. It was like an operation looking glass where they try to use machines to predict future events and they always kept getting the same exact thing over and over and over and over again. That's what their artificial intelligence was telling them. And what's crazy is the spirit is telling us uh, what's telling them. <laughs> okay? Like they're getting the same thing. We read the scriptures. We know what the end is going to be and that's what they know too. The end is going to be that. So let's go back and look into Marvin Minsky first, and then we're going to look into Patrick Winston. These are two dorky-ass Edomites and dorky-ass Edomite names. That's just an opinion, okay? <laughs> it's just an opinion, but, you know, I'm sure Auckland will agree with me that it is such. I mean, look at him, all right? So he, he uh, lived on this earth uh, from 1927 to 2016, so he what died, what, five, six years ago, or whatever. Uh, and he was an American cognitive and computer science scientist concerned largely with research of artificial intelligence, or AKA AI technology, he says co-founder of Massachusetts Institution of Technology, or you can just simply say MIT, um, AI laboratory. So really he's the author and he's the creator of our artificial intelligence. He's a father of it. He says the author of several texts concerning AI and philosophy AI and philosophy. Let's go down to his biography because there's some thing there's one thing in here to point out that you know this guy was a part of. So Marvin Lee Minsky was born in New York City to an eye surgeon father, Henry, to a mother uh, Fanny, uh, who was a Zionist activist. Okay, his family was Jewish. All right, so he's an Amalekite, of course. Of course, the scriptures talk about uh, these Amalekites 
you know, you know, the least shall draw them out. They're the ones who wreak the most havoc. At, you know, they're part of the line of Esau. That particular family out of Esau is the one who creates the most havoc in this world today because they have control over everything. Okay? It says, he attended ethical culture, Fieldstone uh, School, Fieldston School in Bronx High School of Science. He later attended uh, Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. Um, he served in the U.S. Navy from 44 to 45. He received a B.A. in mathematics from Harvard in 1950 and a Ph.D. in mathematics in Princeton University in 1954. All right, so that's just the background of that guy. But the main thing is what? He's a Zionist. All right, so let's go into Zionism real quick. Zionism is uh, pretty much a movement that exposes the establishment of and support of homeland and Jewish people centered in the area roughly corresponding to the land of Israel, region of Palestine, Canaan, the Holy Land, and the basis of long Jewish con uh, connection and attachment to that land. Okay, which, come on, man. This, you can see kind of the things that are, y'all can go in and read this, but you can kind of see certain things that are mentioned in here. Ottoman Empire, all right? Those were their, uh, the, that's the Ottoman Empire was like the, one of the first empires uh, Esau took over when he came out the Caucasus Mountains, okay, and he considered himself an Ottoman instead of a damn Edomite like he is, okay, he's, Esau has always been an identity uh, thief, okay, uh, he's not the real Ottoman Turks, okay, um, and it, it goes all the way on, and of course, what it has right here at the bottom, since the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, and we all know what that is via the Balfour uh, Declaration, okay? All right, so we get a sense of what Zionist and Zionism is, man, okay? Uh, that's the Amalekites type view on that, but we know who the real Israelites, who the real Jews are, okay? And the damn sure ain't no... Marvin Minsky, who created artificial intelligence, that hey, I'm bringing them up because AI is something that's going to be big in later prophecies, in which we're really living in, aka Revelation, the 13th chapter. You know where I'm going with this, okay? The M A R K of the, you see what I'm saying? Artificial intelligence backs that, okay? So. That's a little something on that uh, Marvin Minsky and understand that he is the progenitor of artificial intelligence and his partner in crime, Patrick Winston, all right, who was born in 1943 and ended up dying in 19, uh, uh, 2019, age of 76, it says, was an American computer scientist and professor at MIT, all right, so he was right there with Marvin Minsky, all right. You know, he was a director at, of the MIT AI laboratory, which Marvin Minsky created. All right. All right. It says from 1972 to 1997, succeeding Marvin Minsky, who left to help found the MIT Media Lab. Ooh, you see, these damn Amalekites always got their hand in some type of media. Okay. So after... Uh, Minsky established the artificial intelligence. He left it over to this damn devil, Winston, who is a co-father uh, of artificial intelligence to carry on the legacy, pretty much. All right, look these guys up. Look, these, I'm only doing a, a baseline Wikipedia, hence why I've come up with these this series. Let's look into it. Look into these guys, the the devils. Okay, and it says who left. Um, who left to help found the MIT Media Lab. So, of course, he creates the AI technology and gets into the media, okay? And then, in turn, probably fused both of those together to work in conjunction and, uh, and be confederate towards one another. Confederate simply means to work with each other, all right? You're confederate. It says Winston would, uh, was succeeded by his directly, director, Rodney Brooks. I'm going to stop right there. I don't really... I'm going to be honest, I really don't too much care about these devils, but they do have to be mentioned. 
because they have to be an exposition is happening at the moment where you know they got to be exposed you know what i'm saying they got to be known about how often do you hear of a marvin minsky or a patrick winston you really don't okay uh so these two are our enemies all right which brings me to my first precept in psalm 139 and 22 i hate them with perfect hatred i count them my enemies now if you hate someone with perfect hatred and you count them or your enemies and they are doing something to you that is offensive which yes ai technology is blasphemy and it is offensive and it's directly affecting all of us in a negative sense okay all right because even ai technology affects affects the way we eat, you know, our daily uh, endeavors, you know, and things of that nature that affects us, all right? These are devils, all right? They're, they're, they're founders of a, a, a devilish act of artificial intelligence. So they're my enemy. So yes, I, I hate them with a perfect hatred. And when you hate somebody and they're oppressing you, you go and tell on them, okay? And that's what we do. That's why this is an exposition of a, a let's look into it episode of Patrick Winston and Marvin Minsky because they need to be exposed. All right. Well, we need to know who came up with this type of intelligence is making us live the way we are today. There's nothing we can do about our slavery <laughs> and how and how it goes. We can only endure through it and pray the Lord uh, uh, gives us the spirit of endurance. OK, so again, Psalm 139 and 22, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Nahum, uh, let me go to Jeremiah 13, actually. Jeremiah 13 and 26. Yeah, Jeremiah 13 and 26. Therefore, I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, that, they shame, that thy shame may appear. And I'm lifting the skirt up of Marvin Minsky and Patrick Winston on their devilish, diabolical plan to in, uh, introduce AI technology to the mass public. This is Nahum chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Behold, I am against thee. Right. The Lord is against Marvin Minsky and Patrick Winston. And of course, they're all passed on. But still, he's against um, the technology that they've, they've created. All right. But actually, what's going to happen is that technology is going to be used against them. And it's already been used against them via the, the looking glass that really, you know, really that technology. That's the part of Isaiah, the 54 chapter when the Lord talked about. I, I blow, you know, pretty much he makes the blacksmith who creates these uh, the waste to destroy. Just loosely paraphrasing. OK. This was a part of that. Isaiah 54, the artificial intelligence is a weapon, okay? It is a weapon, and it's going to be used as a weapon in a, bio, in, a, in a biological manner coming up here soon. We've already seen it. There's companies in America, companies in uh, Canada, and, and other companies around the world who are already using this biometric technology via AI technology as well. It is a weapon of controlling the mass. And then, of course, he goes and creates the MIT Media Lab, and the media is a mass is a mass weapon that controls the and manipulates the mind of uh, uh, the mass of you know the, the the people okay the sea the trees okay I'm I'm saying the sea and trees in a spiritual sense okay this is Nahum chapter three and uh, five again it says behold I am against thee and the Lord is against you Edomites okay. The Lord is against you, Edomites. That's who he's against. All right. It says, um, say if the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. And a skirt usually droops down and covers your, you know, you know, your, your groin area, your thighs. Now, I'm speaking on a sense of a woman, you know, all the way to your ankles. Okay. To, to the ankles. Let me say it in that sense. And when your skirt is upon your face, that means it's lifted up, exposing your private areas, okay? Exposing your thigh, exposing the leg, exposing the ankle, exposing the groin area, all right? So this is, a, in a sense, this this um, Jeremiah 13 and Nahum, the third chapter, is in a sense of, you know, 
exposing somebody to something, all right, or exposing them for what they really is, really are, all right. Uh, it says, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, right? And when your when your nakedness is shown, what becomes what usually tends to happen after nakedness is shown, ashamed or embarrassment sets in, okay? Or when the truth comes to light, people start to mock and hate you, okay? So then I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame, all right? That's the spirit, you know. So that's what's happening here in this lesson, the exposition of Patrick Winston and, and Marvin Minsky in uh, artificial intelligence. So I, I'm just going to leave it there at that. And um, y'all can look into Marvin Minsky, artificial intelligence. Shit, look into MIT programs, the Massachusetts Institution of Technology. Look into that school. Look into Harvard, Princeton, where these individuals went. Those schools are really devilish as well, who are pristine in successful with uh, generating and pumping out devilish individuals, okay? Such as Marvin Minsky and uh, Patrick Winston, both these Amalekite Edomites, okay? So Lord willing, this is edifying. Go ahead and look into them. Look into artificial intelligence. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Shemakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone and rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Um, until next time, we'll say Shalom Muhammad, like always, repent, repent, repent for Yahweh Shai is coming back sooner than what me and you believe to shut this artificial intelligence down. All right, until the next time, Shalom.